Hi, I'm Tanya Wright. I play the role of Deputy Kenya Jones on HBO's True Blood, and I am the author, writer, director of Butterfly Rising. Have you been involved in science fiction for a long time? Have you been a fan of it? Um, yes, I have been. It's, um, it's a genre that uh, sort of requires you to use some other muscles in your mind, and um, yeah, it's it's fun, mm -hmm. fun place to be. <laughs> and, and, and what's it like being on True Blood and being involved in that storyline, uh, and you know where vampires and all these other kind of uh, mystical things are like real in, in this environment? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if you look at the show, according to Miss uh, Deputy Kenya Jones, vampires are not real at all, mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> and she is aggressive in her stance about that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I like to think that there is uh, opportunity for all kinds of uh, otherworldly things in the world. And um, so, yeah, you know, Kenya and I are, are, are different in that regard. And so you're acting, you're writing. Do you find one genre uh, gives you more freedom to express who you are than the other one? Or is it just at the time, the subject matter? Mm -hmm. um, well, I like to always say that my acting helps my writing and the writing helps my acting. Um, certainly as a writer, I have the ability to create a world from nothing. Literally nothing, you know, blank pages and a pencil. Mm -hmm. And so as an actor, uh, things are a little bit more laid out for you uh, in terms of story, in terms of pretty much most things. And um, so, I, you know, I would say as a writer, I have a little bit more um, uh, freedom. I, I, I feel like I'm the original creator mm -hmm. uh, as a writer. Um, I am, I am uh, a co-creator as an actor. Okay. And mm. Can you tell us about the book you uh, you have now that yes. you're here for today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very excited. It's a book called Butterfly Rising. Uh, it's a book that I wrote, and it's a story about two women, uh, Rose Johnson, uh, and uh, Rose is the woman in town who is uh, aggressively independent and sexual, and she has relationship with uh, other women's husbands. Uh, with no apologies, and she's not very well liked in this small town. And Lila Bell is a grief-stricken singer who doesn't sing anymore after her brother dies. And these two women go on a road trip to meet a mythical medicine man named Lazarus of the Butterflies, and their lives change forever. The story is actually a very contemporized take of the story of Mary and Martha from the Bible. Okay. So, um, so yeah, two women going on a journey and lots of things happen. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what do you draw on for inspiration? And, and is there any advice you can give to some of the viewers that uh, will watch you and are fans of you on True Blood that mm -hmm. you know want to go into acting, want to go into writing? Um, where, where do you draw experience, uh, inspiration from, and, or what can you tell them to uh, draw on? Mm -hmm. I draw on inspiration from people who are not necessarily famous, but who make fearless choices about their lives. And um, people with courage inspire me. Um, you know, there are some famous people who inspire me. Oprah Winfrey inspires me. Tyler Perry inspires me. Um, I like to study people who are successful in doing the thing that they set out to do, and what and 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 the steps that they take to take to do that. Um, um, discipline inspires me. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to look at someone who's successful and say, oh, you know, I can do that. But, but the steps that are required and the sacrifices that people make in order to do something and be a success at it are generally not, not easy or common sacrifices that people make. It's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate those things, and I, and I learn from those things, uh, um, those that have gone before me. And, uh, and, you know, I hope that I can inspire people to, uh, you know, take uh, hold of their dreams. You know, I self-published this novel. I wrote and directed this movie independently outside of the conventional Hollywood studio system. And, um, you know, if there's one thing that uh, I would be excited about after the, the culmination of all of this is that I hope that I inspire people to, to take hold of their own dreams and, and get it done. Um, and not necessarily wait for permission, not necessarily wait for the right time, or, or these sorts of things that, uh, that we put on ourselves to delay progress, to delay going forward, to delay just taking the first step. 
Um, and so, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for being okay. on BlackSci-Fi.com. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too.